Hey everyone, welcome back to Satisfactory News. My name is Mason. Last week, Coffee Stain Studios released a monster of a video all about how Update 8 will feature a change to Unreal Engine 5. This is a major update, and in this video I'm going to quickly go through the 7 most important things you need to know. If you want to know the full details, however, and all the other things you might want to know, obviously you can watch the full video if you haven't done that already. I'm going to break down these 7 important things you need to know, as well as inject a little bit of my own thoughts and opinion. So please let me know in the comments if you agree with some of my thoughts. Now before we get started, let me quickly explain what a game engine is in basic terms, because it's possible that you don't really know what this means. Basically, a game engine is a pre-existing framework for developing games, and it contains rendering methods, physics engines, sound, animations, much more. That way, game developers don't have to build these things from scratch if they don't want to. Satisfactory is currently built on Unreal Engine 4, and the upgrade to Unreal Engine 5 is going to give Coffee Stain access to a more advanced selection of tools that will make the game feel truly next generation. Number 1. Lumen Lumen is a new lighting feature in Unreal Engine 5 that provides global illumination and reflections. It looks really good and adds an element of realism, as it does things like bounce light off of surfaces that are the color of that surface, and reflects them onto other nearby surfaces. Satisfactory is going to be implementing Lumen, however it is not going to officially support it. The game will support both Lumen lighting and the traditional lighting system and Lumen will not necessarily be fully implemented all across the map. The developers will instead be prioritizing how the world looks with the existing lighting system. So Lumen may look good in some parts of the map and may look bad in others. Number 2. Nanite Nanite is a geometry system which uses a new mesh format and rendering technology to render higher detail. Now that might not mean much immediately, but Satisfactory will be using it in Update 8. It will be implemented on rocks and cliffs for Update 8, and they will look into the possibility of using it on factory elements. But they're not making any guarantees about that. This should reduce CPU overhead, since the GPU will take a larger share of working with Nanite. Number 3. The World Partition System The World Partition System feature essentially divides a large game world into smaller sublevels and allows them to be loaded as necessary. Right now, Satisfactory is made up of a 7x6 grid of large blocks, and as the player enters one, every single asset needs to be loaded. This causes a hitch in the game when these things load, and you've probably experienced that before. But when they implement the world partition system, they'll be able to better load only what is necessary to the player based on where they are and what they can see and interact with. This should result in smoother world loading with less hitches, and a better level of detail on what you can see, especially when looking down at the world from higher up. Number 4. Temporal Super Resolution Temporal Super Resolution is a feature that is aiming to be added to the game, and is similar to NVIDIA's DLSS and AMD's Fidelity FX, if you're familiar with either of those. Basically, this setting allows the game to render in a lower resolution and upscale the image to a higher resolution, with minimal loss in visual quality. This can obviously result in major performance gains, but ironically it is best to use if you have a more powerful graphics card. Number 5. Vehicle Updates Vehicle physics are getting a major update, as Satisfactory is now going to use the Chaos Physics system in Unreal Engine 5. Vehicles should feel better, such as the truck feeling as heavy as it looks and not being so bouncy. They will feel a lot different though, and handle differently. Vehicles will drive smoother on foundations, rather than bump over each edge. Additionally, the handbrake system will be different, and air control will be removed. Only vehicles near the player will be affected, since far away vehicles just move along a spline, rather than actually existing physically in the world. Number 6. Performance and Stability In the current testing, the developers have found that with all of these new Unreal Engine 5 features, Satisfactory runs either the same or worse. However, it also looks a lot better, and there is still time before Update 8 releases during which the developers may iron out some of the bugs. So in terms of stability, the developers think that the game should be stable for release, but there will inevitably be bugs that players find once the update comes out. If there are game-breaking bugs, you can always go back to the early access version of the game, since only the experimental branch will be on Unreal Engine 5 until it's stable enough to go to the early access branch. Number 7. Hardware Requirements For this engine update, there will be a change to the minimum hardware specifications. Now, as someone who builds custom gaming computers for people and keeps up on computer parts, 
I'm going to break the fourth wall here and add a little bit of my own thoughts to this section, rather than talking too much about what Coffee Stain said. Because I've seen a lot of misinformation and misunderstanding, which is understandable because PC hardware is complicated. So, the new minimum specs, which Coffee Stain said are subject to change, are a GTX 1650 graphics card, a 4 core CPU, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and preferably an SSD, although Jace did say that a normal hard drive will likely still work. Now I've seen some people freaking out about the graphics card requirement. One of the complaints I've seen is that the card is fairly new, coming out just three years ago in 2020. While in some cases the age of the card can dictate the technology in it, this is a relatively irrelevant point. While it may be a newer card, it's also very weak. In fact, one of the lowest performance graphics cards that you can buy new right now. Compare the 1650 to the GTX 1080, which came out in 2016, seven years ago. It is a much better performing card, and while it is quite a bit older, it still supports DirectX 12, which will be necessary for using certain features such as Nanite. Here in the US at least, you can get a GTX 1080 for under $200 used on eBay. A GTX 1650 is available brand new for pretty much the exact same price. So please, don't freak out about the GPU requirement. Even if you have something older or weaker, you might still be fine. The old minimum requirement of a GTX 770 was, according to Jason, the video, not really based on anything and not really realistic. I recommend looking at this great chart on Tom's Hardware, which I'll link below, to see where your GPU ranks in terms of performance. And if it's anywhere in the ballpark of the 1650, you should be okay. The long and short of it is that the minimum spec is not a hard and fast rule. If you have something with lower performance than a 1650, your game will still run. If you want to take advantage of all of the Unreal Engine 5 features, you just need something that supports DirectX 12. But in all seriousness, most graphics cards released in the last decade support DX12. And I'm going to be brutally honest here, if you have a GPU that does not support DX12, I urge you to try to save up the $100, $200, $300 to buy any GPU from the last decade. I know not everyone can financially do that necessarily, but the reality is that games are going to get harder to run as technology increases, and old graphics cards are going to get more and more outdated as the years go by. In fact, the GTX 770 that is the current minimum requirement isn't even supported by NVIDIA anymore, there's no new drivers for it, it is technically out of date. Okay, rant over, sorry about that. Point is, don't get too hung up on the hardware requirements. If you can run the game now, you should still be able to run update 8, but it's possible it will run worse with the same settings, you might have to tweak some things, but you'll be okay. And if you want to buy a graphics card, now is actually a pretty good time. Over the last few years, prices have been not great, but right now, you can get some incredible deals on some very high performing hardware. I'll leave a couple links below to graphics cards that I highly recommend, that generally have a good price, and you can check those out. Okay, those were the 7 things you need to know about the Unreal Engine 5 update to Satisfactory that will be coming to the Experimental Branch in Update 8. There is plenty more that you may want to know, so if you want to know it all, go ahead and watch the super long video that Coffee Stain Studios put out. And if any of my assumptions or information here substantially changes between now and release, I will try to leave a comment and pin it to the comment section, letting you all know. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more Update 8 content as it comes out.